it's a reaction they have because they're so young. I'm sorry, it escapes me at the moment, but it, do, it, it doesn't matter where you're getting the honey, even if it's fresh out of the container. I collect my honey from uh, a company in Josephine, Texas, which is right up the road from us. So my honey is very local and very fresh. And uh, they only, I, they're gonna start collecting fall honey, he said, but so far they only collect honey in the spring. Oh, you should get the honey where they use the pot plants. That would really <laughs> give it some kick. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't think they have that there. <laughs> Not here, but they do yeah. in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say this about Luann. First of all, she's my favorite guest so far, and here's why. Because she brought us gifts. Out of all the people that we've had on the show, she's the only one that thought to give us a sample of her products so we could use them. And I have been using mine this week, and they're phenomenal. I love them. Um, I have horrible fingernails uh, because I had an allergic reaction to acrylic nails in my 20s and they never recovered. And my nails are like sandpaper and they have really deep ridges. And the ridges are still there after three days, but they feel nice and they feel moist and they feel smooth. And my cuticles are better than they've ever been. And I'm using awesome. the tattoo stuff on a scar that I have and it's fading already after three days. Now, I don't know how long that, you know, how far that will go, but I'm going to keep using it. But the thing that impressed me the most is that um, I have allergies that I manage really well, but sometimes with the ozone the way it is, they flare up. And I was having a lot of pain in, the, in my inner ear and in my glands on the right side. And it said throat spray. I don't know what it said on that bottle. It said something, but I sprayed it anyway. So... <laughs> I'll try anything once. I don't care. You know, I'll try anything once. So I sprayed it that night and it, it, the, the pain in my, it was not like when I swallowed, but it was like having a cramp in the back of your throat and your inner ear almost. It just pinched, you know? And I'm like, oh crap, I'm not going to the doctor for this. And then I sprayed it again that morning when I woke up and then about noon, I was like, oh wait, I don't hurt. And I'm feeling around on my throat and I'm poking it and I'm trying to make it and I'm pulling my ear, trying to see if it's going to hurt. And it hasn't hurt since then. Phenomenal. Absolutely yeah, phenomenal. It, I, when you're not, when you don't use, or even if you do, I guess, when you go to natural stuff, it, it seems to work better. And of course, with anything, you don't want to overuse even the natural stuff because then it, it loses right. money. Or you can but, get diarrhea. <laughs> if you, really if quickly, really quickly, <laughs> that's no joke. That's really, I mean, really. Well, it will Elizabeth, clean your clock, that's for sure. Elizabeth yep. called me one time and says, Mom's had a little problem with uh, her intestines. And I went, how much is she taking? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it tastes well, good, you want to drink it. Yeah. Well, my mom right. said, well, if a little does make you feel halfway good, a lot will make you feel a lot, lot better. Mm -hmm. And so mother started, like, every time she just would wake up, she'd just take a swig and then put the bottle back. And it was <laughs> like, mother, you can't do this all the time. <laughs> this is not something you do all the time. Yeah, but I feel so much better. And then <laughs> it kicked in. Well, even with bourbon, you can't do that. You can't just keep doing that with bourbon. I mean, every all good things have limits, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's true. That's I mean, true. I didn't yeah. know all that about you though, with the with the the botanicals and all that. Tell us the other stuff that you're doing. You're a fascinating person. What else is going on? Well, I thank you very much. <laughs> I've always been interested in plants, except uh, the my first apartment had like sixty house plants. This is, so, but I went into nursing, and uh, I was uh, I was a late bloomer. In 1980, I got my uh, LVN license, and from there I went to work in the operating room. But my friend Mitchell had a decubitus, which is an ulcer of your backside, and uh, his mother was trying everything. She was a nurse, and she was trying everything. And she goes, "You gotta help me. I can't get this." to heal. 
I said, okay, I'll figure out something. So I went and did some research. And I, there was no Google. <laughs> no Google. Yeah. So you had to go to the library or you had to, to speak out. I, I was, you know, I uh, had, was around doctors all day long and I, I asked them and they said, well, I, you know, and then I finally got the, uh, what is it called? Pro I was just, and I said, I don't remember his name, but he was like an older physician and he said, yeah. You need to find the same stuff they make stoma circles with. I think it's called Garaya powder. And so I went and did some research. We talked to the pharmacist. He got the powdered Garaya powder. And what I had her do was wash with soap and water and then rinse and then put on this powder and then stick his butt in the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> So, so it got it got well fast that way. What what the powder was doing was acting like a granular substance to keep uh, the tissue forming and something to it to hold on to. That is funny. That, the funny thing is that you put them out in the sunshine because you know the big thing now is anal airing out. What do they call that? Oh, or, geez. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? You're supposed disgusting. to go. No. That's called disgusting. <laughs> you lay out in the yard and you throw your legs up in the air and you let the sun in where it never shines. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's disgusting. It no. is. I would. I, I would burn something and then I would be miserable. They do. <laughs> they do. Some celebrity did it and, and, then, it, and then did a big uh, hoopla on the internet about how he burned his butthole. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, what? Jeez. No. Sorry. I think I'm that one. Okay. I, I see a whole class around that. We're going to do our butthole area. No. 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 <laughs> What not to do? Why not to put this cream on? Do <laughs> you have any questions or comments, please? It's Friday. <laughs> do not use this cream on that particular area. We should be drinking on Friday. This, no, you should not have a tattoo then, so you should not be using that. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! She gets us though. Luann gets me. Oh Luann gets me. I love guests that get me. That is hilarious. Um, oh my God! Thank you for being here. I love you. Yeah. And, well, I truly love. I truly love companies that people think help them in their everyday life, like Jenny and her face cream. You know, we we tried out the chamomile. And the uh, uh, calendula on her face, and I said, I'm coming up with something new. She had no idea I was making it particularly for her. So, you know, it's just you want to help when, when someone's face is so forget all the time. I mean, it's like, I can do something to help that. Well, that's huge and right now. That is so it huge. Works, and you know, most of the products out there are not very successful. So I, you could, you could sell the heck out of that, really. Yeah. Well, on my webpage, I do, have, I do have, I do have some of my products on my webpage for purchase. Right now, the elderberries are um, on back order. <laughs> I guess everybody, everybody and dog is. I get all my products from a company called Mountain. Rose herbs. Oh, rose, rose. They do, they do organics, fair trade. Uh, they make sure it's sustainable products that are not going to be wiped out once they use it. So they do a lot of uh, collections all over the world of the products, and I trust their collection. Well, do you have your own garden that you grow certain things in? Not right now. But I will. I have a young lady who is a whiz at gardening, and she's going to help me grow some elderberry trees. Wonderful. And uh, they come from stock in uh, the Carolinas, where they grow them. And there's several different stocks. Um, the thing about 
collecting your own elderberries is you must be very careful with the stems and the leaves. Like I said, they have cyanide. And, you know, a lot of people forage there. Unless you've been with someone who knows is an expert on plants, you should never try to forage your own. There are so many lookalikes out there that are poisonous. Oh, wow. I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. Even, even for the wild onion, there's a lookalike that is poisonous. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, you have to be very, very careful. So I don't forage anything that I use. I strictly go to Mountain Rosa because I, I know that they're reputable. Uh, there's also another one called Bull Compository if I absolutely can't get it from Mountain Rosa. So uh, I can't complain about their products at all. And I know I'm giving my clients something organic. Well, I am amazed at the depth of knowledge that you bring to the table for this, and that should be reassuring to everyone. <clears throat> it's not like, well, you just went to Whole Foods and you picked up a bunch of essential oil bottles, and then you got on the Google and say, oh, let's just throw these together, because a lot of people do that, and they're successful, and they, they make yes. decent products. I'm not putting that down. That's a great way to start. But if you're going to mass produce this, you've got to make sure you're safe. And you're giving them not only a viable product, but a safe product. And so I find it very, very reassuring to know that you have all this wealth of information that you're pulling from. Thank you. I work hard to make sure that everything I put in my product is listed on the label because I don't want anyone to say, well, I had a reaction to this and nothing on the label, you know, am I allergic to it? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So, it, based in peanut oil. <laughs> so, so you'd really recommend people before they start using these things if they're on medications or, you know, taking other supplements to really check in and do their homework on what goes together and what doesn't go together because this can be healthy by itself and this can be healthy by itself, but together they may not be. So it's really up to the individual to do their homework on what they should take together with that. It's very important that you double check your, especially a prescription medication, because they will have uh, uh, recommendations not to do not take it with this. And then if they're still unsure, they can either call me or call their physician. Mm -hmm. The physician should really know, especially over the counter products that could or might interfere with their medication. You know, herbalists do not diagnose anything. The only thing an herbalist can do is help you with whatever the doctor has said you have or whatever symptoms you might have. So uh, there's a very fine line and herbalists try not to cross it at all because we want to be successful helping people. And in doing so, we have to say, this is what I suggest that you need to talk to your physician. So you do yes. private consultations then, that's what I'm understanding. So I can call you and say, look, I've got a yes. pimple. What are you going to fix for me to get rid of this pimple? Yeah, you can ask. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it, what's funny is you don't want to reinvent the wheel. And unless something out there, uh, when you said pimple, like proactive, unless you're allergic to that, I think that's a great product. And so I might not recommend me fixing something for you. I might just say, well, this is, you know, this one is non-allergenic and non this and non that. Or I could do some research for you if you would like me to. But a lot of people, uh, you know, they want all their things natural, no additives, no preservatives. So that's what I do. See, I think that's a lovely attitude though, that you, 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 send them where they're going to get help, whether it's your help right. or someone else's. I think more healers should be like that. I really do. Well, and I think that more are trying to be that way. More are trying to say, I, I have product and I can do this, but this product works just as well. It's organic or, you know, you, I probably would have to do some research on that, but every time something would need to be researched. I mean, I just don't believe in saying, oh, here, take this. Well, I will tell you, I've used lavender on the, the pimple here and there, and it worked fine, but not everybody can use lavender. Some people are allergic Correct. to lavender. 
you know, and, and maybe they might just need to take some coconut oil and put a drop and rub it in and rub it on their face. But uh, I find that if you just have one or two, then just put a little bit of that on there and, and, it, and the next day they're gone. So, but not everybody's the same. I use Vicks right. on my pimples. I use Vicks on my oh. pimples. <laughs> I do. It works on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that that said, uh, use Windex? <laughs> yeah, from my big fat <laughs> Greek that. wedding. It was in my big fat Greek wedding. He sprayed everything with Windex, you know? It had a and moment. I thought, no, <laughs> no, what the, no. Oh. Oh my God! It's like the president saying, "Well, let's just hook ourselves up to that." What? No. Well, whether it works or not, it at least makes me feel better because I like the smell of Vicks. So at least soothes me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. I, I think it comes from our childhood because our mothers used it, yep. and um, it was. It's just like, oh, I know I'll feel better after this. Yeah. You know, it's placebo effect. Oh, it cured my cancer. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so Yeah, that's another touchy subject. Yeah. So what else do you spend your time doing with these things? I mean, you just have such a huge repertoire. Because, I, because I'm concerned about my own face, I'm going to be making goat's milk, oatmeal, honey soap. Ooh. I don't want to get into the soap business, but I do want a soap that's going to be mild and soothing to my face. It seems like that my face has started itching so much over the past several months, and I'm sure it's because I'm getting older and my skin is getting drier. But oatmeal really helps. If you've ever had chicken pot mm -hmm. and had an oatmeal bath, yes. it's the best thing in the world. Yes. So the honey and the goat, the goat's milk is very full of fats, and along with the other oils that you use with it, it will be a lye based soap. So it has to, I have to make it, and then I have to leave it on the shelf for six weeks. Wow. But as soon as, yeah, it has to cure. And then curing, it uses up the lye or the sodium hydroxide, and it uses it up, and then it's no longer caustic to your skin. Wow. That's, that's how our grandmothers did it, our great grandmothers. Yeah. Did it. yeah. When they made soap, they <clears throat> used lye. It was a, a combination of ash and something else, and uh, they made a lye substance. Which was well, I have a funny story about the oatmeal. Awesome. I had the chicken pox when we were on vacation when I was five, and we were camping up in Arkansas. And, you know, chicken pox was just considered no big deal back then. So I got to lay up right. in the, the camper, and my mother made a big paste of oatmeal, and she would rub that all over my body, and then I'd go down to the river and wash it off. But it did. It soothed everything. It made everything feel mm -hmm. better. It took care. But I'm walking like this, trying to keep the oatmeal on me, <laughs> going down to the river to wash it off. Yeah. You know, it's hilarious. But, yeah, yeah. it works. It does. Yeah. It, does. it works very well. Well, you're. So I'm looking forward to the soap. You're like a, the fountain of youth. I, I just, I, I just <laughs> want you to make me a big bath so I can just take all, take a bath and all this stuff. That's awesome. Well, when you get that soap made, send us a bar, or I'll order one from you, and then come back on the show. And, and how long, you know, would you recommend to, you know, what we would want you to tell us is how long would you recommend us to use it before we start seeing the results? So we want right. to come back on and talk about that. Yeah, well, that'll be two or three months before I can have a product well, and use be. it and see, <laughs> and see how it works. Why are you going to put frankincense and myrrh in it? <clears throat> Why wouldn't you do that? Because, because a lot of people, uh, essential oils uh, irritate their face and fragrances irritate mm. their face and some people just don't want fragrances at all in their soaps or got their it. got it <laughs> got it you know i'm not the I, I, I use frankincense on my face and my lotion and, I, and it didn't help me so i guess it, like we said it's individual mm -hmm. yeah Luann, in a couple of months, that would be a great time for you to come back so you can also talk about your winter box. 
Yes. Ooh, what's uh, that? What's that? What's that? What is it? I want one. What is it? It was postponed last year, but this year I'm going to have eight ounces of uh, the cough syrup. I'll have the two ounces of the throat spray, the lip balm, and, and the cold and flu salve in a box together. And it'll be priced less than each component by themselves. I want four. I want four. <laughs> Seriously, I do. I want four. I want four for gifts. It, it will show up on my website. And the other thing I thought about doing is I may put Twin X in there. You know, everybody has a cold at the planet. So we'll see how it works. Put a roll of toilet paper in there while you're in it. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, that's just been a big, no, it's kind of a gag gift, you know, because it, toilet paper. Yeah, been, it's so, drink too much of this and you're going to need that. Yeah. No, no, I just meant because of what we've been through with, you know, the, the 2020 <laughs> special <laughs> gift. Everybody gives away a roll of toilet paper, no matter what you get. <laughs> that's right. Like, surprise. <laughs> surprise. Yeah, yeah. Scott, Absolutely. Scott said we should go and roller paper, you know, toilet paper a bunch of houses like we did when we were kids. He goes, everybody would think it was a nice yeah. gift now. <laughs> <laughs> they would actually be out there rolling it up. Save Seriously. It up. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, what you gifted. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. <laughs> For winning lottery tickets, no, we get paper. Oh my gosh, you're a bad influence on me, Luann. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> Elizabeth says the same thing. I know. I can see. It. We need to all go drinking. I think that'd be fun. No, no, no. Oh, she says no, and then she'll sit down and have a beer, and then the next thing you know, it's four. Oh, four. oh no. Not yeah, a that's fifth one. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Not a fifth one. Don't I'm make me do it, Deborah. <laughs> Don't I'm make me. Drink you with <laughs> Go I ahead. To, Twist my like, arm. Oh, what have I done? Twist <laughs> my arm. Make me drink that fifth one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my what God. What we call it in our group is being an enabler. We are enablers. When they clock, you know, Jenny, she likes dolls. So if there's a doll sale, we say, Jenny, get <laughs> She says, you guys in, are enablers. I so call that supportive, fun friends. <laughs> you know, it's all in your perspective. No, we're enablers. <laughs> We are actually enablers. That's really, that's really true. We are, we are enablers. Oh, all right. So um, when y'all go on another trip, I want to go and just videotape it. I just want to go and watch on video. Oh my God, no! I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm a PI. You'll never see me. I can do it if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this for 32 oh, years yeah, and I'm good, good at it. <laughs> <laughs> be You'll never know until it hits the internet. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, right. When we go out, it's like Vegas. What's Stacy Vegas? Stacey. What happens is Stacey Stacey Unless, I videotape, Unless I videotape it. Unless I videotape it. Plano, Stacey, and Plano. Luann, <laughs> 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 what if we just have to be sober to keep an eye out for Deborah? That's what's going to happen there. Yeah, like that's oh, ever going to happen. Like that's ever going to happen. We're going to. <laughs> 